Yesterday I posted a video about uh, the guild master of a certain guild cheating and taking the throne from us and getting 500,000 plus a Lucent. Now, after looking at more POVs uh, and seeing people in the comments talk about it, I realized that he was actually not cheating. And I'll be showing you guys in the video uh, why he wasn't cheating and all the POVs of him not cheating. So let's uh, check it out. So yesterday's POV, which was basically this one right here, was this guy right here uh, teleporting just across the room like this uh, and taking the throne. Obviously, uh, now I realize that that was some type of lag and some type of desync that is happening. That's why he's able to just teleport through it. The only like thing that doesn't kind of make sense to me is none of the other players are doing it. Only the one that can actually take the throne is somehow desyncing through the map. But hey, it's just lag or desync, right? So obviously, that is my fault for saying that he basically teleported through the map. Uh, it was probably just lag. And then we have the second POV, which I showed yesterday, which is the Biscuits POV, right? Which you see this guy that comes, pops up right here. And then he's just teleporting across and like this. And you see that he actually has him targeted. And I mean, he's trying to CC and stuff and use it, but nothing is working. I understand why this happened now. Somebody told me in the comments, actually, because this guy is using a sword and shield and a wand. So I was like, he can't sneak. He can't teleport with great sword, whatever. But some guy said he's using strategic rush. I was like, oh my God. Of course, he's using strategic rush, guys. He's basically strategic rushing from the start, uh, just strategic rushing through everybody. Like, how could I be so stupid? It was kind of obvious that that's what he was doing. So that's my bad on that. He was obviously uh, just strategic rushing. And he has a 3,000 magic evasion, melee evasion, and ranged uh, evasion. So he can dodge all our attacks. Uh, so we can't damage him because he's walking through like 300, 200 people right here, right? So he's just walking through and we're trying to CC him. And he has probably has like 1,000 collision resistance, right? Because he's he's not getting CC or anything. So that is honestly uh, my bad. Uh, I should have known better. I should have known that you, you can just collision dash through everything and just have a bunch of resistance. So that's obviously what he was doing right here. And that's how he, he got through, right? So this was uh, the second POV. So these are the POVs I showed. And then we have uh, another POV today that I want to show you guys, uh, which I call, uh, which is this POV right here. Now, this is uh, our, our teammate right here. As you can see, this guy is charging through right now, right? And then boom, he just pops up right there. In case you guys missed it, he's, he's nowhere to be seen. He's nowhere to be seen. And then he just pops up right here. Now, I will explain what this is because it's kind of obvious that he, this guy, uh, is basically using a third weapon. I know, I know you guys are, you can only use two weapons because he was using sword and shield and one, but he has uh, a third weapon, which is uh, the daggers hidden between his uh, cheeks. So basically when he uh, just uh, goes here, he's using a special arc boss daggers. So he can sneak for like 10, 10 seconds. Uh, and when he's in sneak, he takes no damage. That's why he's just running in the middle through everybody and just pops up up here, right? So he's using a third weapon Obviously, that's how he's able to like just pop up right here, right at the throne, right? So clearly, like he's uh, that's my bad, right? Again, uh, I forgot that you can uh, that uh, potentially somebody can use a third weapon uh, and just sneak and pull up right at the throne, right? So again, another POV, like just showing that this guy is obviously not cheating and there's no issue with this at all. And then, of course, we have another POV, you guys. Don't worry, we have another one, and that, uh, and that will 100% prove. That he didn't do anything in case you guys are wondering right now you're thinking yo spit uh you know maybe he was you know maybe there's a chance he's cheating this one will prove you he's not cheating at all okay trust me so i have the last pov right here uh of uh pita it was this one it was kind of long let's see here where is it here we go here it is pita is here behind everybody you know uh, he's watching the throne. He's careful. Nobody's at throne. Nobody, no guild leader name, no icon right here. Nothing is happening. Oh, wait. Wait. What just happened? He's watching like there's nothing happening, right? Wait. He's watching the throne, right? Very carefully. Uh, it's about, and then suddenly it just turns into their throne. What just happened? See? The throne is taken. Wait, he's nowhere to be seen. Where is he? What happened? Oh, there he is. He just popped at the throne. No, no, no. I can explain. I know. I know you guys are thinking, look, 
this 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 there's an explanation to this so apparently he's using a, a testing guardian there's a good new guardian that lets you m teleport places you want to so you just click open the map and you just click where you want to teleport and this is basically what he did he has a new guardian that nobody else is using so uh, basically he just teleported there there's no cheat no nothing behind this obviously you can clearly tell guys that uh, this is completely there's no issue with this i mean you know, on the first, uh, like for me, on my POV, I was just lagging. On the second POV, he was just strategic rushing. On the third POV, he's using another dagger. On this one, he just literally just, uh, you know, teleports up here. So clearly, I mean, that's my bad. I apologize for making the video, calling him a cheater. These POVs definitely show that he didn't cheat at all. I, I mean, you guys in the comments can tell too. Uh, now, I have certain questions, though, that I don't understand. Because there's only guild leaders that can take the throne, right? Which is up there, right? Now, first of all, uh, as a guild leader, why would you charge in front of your your whole guild? Because if you die, nobody can take the throne, right? So that, that is what the, I don't understand. Like, if you are a leader, I would probably, like, wait for people to come, not just charge through everything. Uh, but he was just a, like, he's Rambo, you know, he's Leroy Jenkins, a Leroy Jenkins. I just walked through everybody, you know, I mean, he knew he had all those resistance and stuff. So he's like, I can do this solo. Just watch me guys. You know, I got this. Uh, and the second part is like, I could maybe potentially understand if somebody like snuck in the really corner right here, even like yesterday when I was streaming and I was trying to get through corners as a tank, I was just getting completely slapped in a second, but like going through here, I would understand, but this guy walk through the middle and did this right and now i understand why guys okay the reason for why he was able to do this and get through everybody is because we none we were not using exit lag yes if we all use exit lag this wouldn't be an issue so today's video is sponsored by exit lag guys if you guys want to win castle sieges be able to destroy these guild leaders before they get to the throne you have to check out exit lag the link will be in the description below you can use coupon spade they have an amazing offer right now we get six months off if you subscribe in november or december it is amazing lag free if we were using it there is no way we would not be able to stop him okay so make sure you guys if you're playing throne liberty check out exit lag now, uh, aside from the sponsor, we just got to talk about something uh, real quick. So uh, the, my, my thing is like he ran through everybody, right? In the middle, solo alone. Now that's some, that's some ballsy stuff right there, right? And of course, this guy is not the actual guild leader because the, uh, if you look at the leader of the guild right now, it's, uh, it's uh, this guy checks. He was never the guild leader. So yeah, nothing sussy, you know, no, no sus about that. Now, there was a guy that said he had the POV of the leader, right? So I was like, okay, sick. He posted in the, my YouTube comments. I checked it out. Now, in the video, uh, the whole POV that he showed, you didn't see the guy that pushed through at all in any of their POVs. All the other VODs that they had was deleted. Now, I understand um, they don't want to leak strategy. That's what they said. They want to leak any strategy. So that's why they didn't uh, post the VODs. And then the guy that posted his VOD, he actually private it is so you can't even see it anymore so i mean i understand they're just hiding their amazing strategy of how to uh, get to the throne very easily right uh, this everything that happened obviously a skill issue we just weren't good enough we weren't ready for it so hopefully this video proved to you guys like it's, i'm sorry i apologize for calling him a cheater uh that was uh, uh after like uh, looking at it and having an internal discussion uh uh, with myself, I realized that obviously there was no cheats uh, happening here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with the Throne Liberty content. We'll be doing, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, we of course lost fair and square, as you guys can see in the Guild Siege. The Guild Siege was fun though. So the Guild Siege ending like this, it's unfortunate. I had a blast in it. It was a lot of back and forth. They had two players uh, from their own guild inside our guild that opened gates for them. Like they used some big brain strategies. Got to put a respected, you know, some really rat stuff. We like to see it. We like to see it. But good stuff. All that GGs for the siege. Congratulations. You guys did not cheat. You know, uh, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.